Hi, my name is Frank Valintic, buyer's advocate and seller's advocate at Advantage Property Consulting with our latest market update. Well, the Melbourne market has now benefited from the first homeowner uh, grant being extended. So the first home buyers now will continue to have about 30,000 spots uh, to go through and have that loan deposit scheme where the uh, government guarantees their uh, mortgage and uh, they don't have to pay lenders mortgage insurance, which can be a saving of around ten to $15,000. They've also increased the cap from $600,000 to $700,000 purchase price. And I think that will have a massive impact at that entry level end of the market because we've seen a lot of first home buyers sort of uh, dropping off after 600,000 as they start to pay stamp duty, whereas now they won't be paying stamp duty up until 700,000 and be able to use that loan deposit scheme. So they can buy it with as little as 5% deposit, whereas before many of them were trying to save up that first deposit of around 20, 25%, which at 600,000 is around $125,000, uh, which is a significant amount to save. Well, we've seen some massive uh, increases in the Melbourne market in the last uh, four or five years, and none more so than a, a block of uh, land allotments in Portsea. Uh, in 2016, they were trying to sell them for around 26 million. They couldn't sell them and uh, they passed in and went uh, off the market. And now they've just been resold for a total of 46 million, a 20 million increase in just over five years just showing how strong the demand is. And uh, they were sold off in seven individual allotments with some with bay views as well. Well, what about the increases in the Melbourne market in the last uh, 12 months? Uh, some phenomenal increases. One of our clients recently uh, said that they saw a property down the road in William Street Faulkner sell for 922,000 when we purchased a similar property for him about 12 months ago for 686,000. He was thinking of buying a two bedroom apartment in South Yarra and luckily we convinced him to, uh, to go for more of a, a property with land content as the land appreciates. And uh, a property in Milton Street, Elwood, just down the road from uh, where I reside, recently sold for 1,830,000. Um, a year ago, they had that on the market and they couldn't even get an offer at about 1.3 million and sold it uh, under competition and before auction for 520,000 more. So uh, the market is definitely moving and there's no signs of it slowing down. Um, the lockdowns and, uh, and the, the uh, open for inspections being canceled and so forth will slow the, the uh, demand down and then it'll be just that pent up demand that builds up again as we've seen. So please don't hesitate to get on our website, check out information about our buyer's advocate, seller's advocate and property management and group block purchases and we look forward to seeing you next time.